Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of erwplans.com on Etsy, erwplans.etsy.com on Instagram, instagram.com, erw underscore plans, and on Patreon, patreon.com slash erwplans. Today, I'm going to show you how I've set up a small passion planner to be my fitness journal for 2021. Uh, first things first, this passion planner was actually a 2020 dated small passion planner with a Sunday start. And I just, I never had anything to do with it. It was gifted to me and I honestly, I didn't know what to do with it. So what I decided to do was I, I kept it for this year and I turned it into um, a fitness journal. I did use it a couple of times for um, one previous video, I think maybe two previous videos. So there were some places I had to sticker over stickers. That was fun. Uh, but overall, this is gonna be how I set this up for this year. So first page, we have the key. Um, this will be an index page once I have all of the pages set up. Um, this is actually, I scanned an old Weight Watchers booklet, um, and then printed it out, um, into a little kind of introduction where my photos will go. Um, if you have this booklet, I think it came out in 98 or, or 98, <laughs> 2018 rather, then you can totally do that yourself. Um, or sticker in if you have other stickers that are motivating to you. Uh, you can use that. You can also do a goals for this year, um, which is in my shop, erwplans.etsy.com. Um, the reason I use this as well as this is this one, I'm going to have my before picture and my after picture. This one is going to um, basically be a short summary of the works, the work that I do on this, because it's kind of like a worksheet. And then this will have, this will break down what I put on that worksheet into actionable items. So, um, and of course I can always put a before picture with the who I am right now, but I'm gonna do that as more of a, this is for my mental health, this is for my physical health. Okay. Uh, year in pixels, I haven't decided quite yet what I'm gonna track here. Um, I th put this sticker in in a previous video on how to install full page stickers in your planner. Um, but that's gonna be, that's right up here up front. Uh, you know the roadmap. If you have a passion planner, you've seen the roadmap. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this yet. I was using this to plan out my uh, sticker kits for the next year. Um, so not really sure what I'm gonna do with this page yet, but it will get covered over with stickers at some point. Uh, so here's our January monthly that gets a, that'll get a monthly kit. And then our first week of January, We'll just start with here. Um, as you'll notice, it start. I have it on a Friday starting uh, because that's when my week for Weight Watchers starts. Um, and I do have a separate video on how to redate your passion planner. Um, but basically, you're just going to use your stickers to redate it. If you're redating the monthly section, it gets a little bit more complicated. If I'm turning in this into a Friday, then I have to adjust both the white boxes and the gray boxes. But check out the how to redate a passion planner video for more information on that. I've set it up for Friday. Um, in this, I'm using all of the healthy habits from the new year, new you collection on my shop. Um, we have a shopping list. We have the weekly weigh in uh, check in sticker, which tells me what I weighed last week, what I weighed this week, whether I lost or gained weight and how I'd rate the week. Uh, a mini reflection, what I did well, what I need to improve, and then this week's intention. So this, the top two sections here will be filled out with the information from the week before. Bottom section is what I'm intending going forward. Uh, this is the meeting note sticker. Uh, the, this I'm going to use for my workshops, as they're, they're calling it, and since they rebranded. Um, topic, whatever the topic of the week is. At the end of the meeting, my key takeaway from the meeting, and then any other notes that I want to keep track of. And over here, this is my uh, weekly mail tracker sticker. It's designed to fit this side of the planner, but I put it over here for when I was photographing it for the shop. Um, as you can see, it's customized to the day of the week that your Weight Watchers week starts, starting with your weigh-in day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, how many of your dailies you used and how many of your weeklies you have left. And then down here at the bottom, 
this is your, this week I have this many dailies and this week I have this many weeklies since as your weight changes, that number changes. Um, so that's the January setup. What I will do is I'm going to stick her over this and have like it segmented into breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, workout section, um, and my trackers at the top. And then I will fill in my breakfasts, my lunches, my dinners, and use this as a meal plan. And then I can make a shopping list from the meal plan here. And then I can always use stickers to sticker over if my meal plan didn't exactly go to plan. But for the most part, that's how this is gonna work. Um, at the end of each month, I actually have, this is in my shop now, it is a sleep tracker. Um, you're just gonna put in your month up here. It's dated for uh, uh, the first through the 31st of the month. Obviously if it's, you know, uh, February, it's not going to, you're not going to use all 31 days. Um, and then there's the times, it's in military time to keep things straight, starting at noon and ending at 11 a.m. the next day. And I did it that way because I like having the bars when you track your sleep centered rather than kind of all like over here into over here. If you know what I mean, like if I started here at like this is 1 a.m., I'll have like six hours here and then I'll have some hours here. And it just look to me, it looks weird. I don't like it that way. So um, I've set it up with this is 12 noon. So if you're, if you're, you know, taking a nap or something, you can fill that in. But for the most part, you know, you have at 10 o'clock at night, I'm going to go to sleep here and then sleep until six o'clock the next morning. And I can fill in when I go to bed, color it. And when I wake up the next morning, color in how long I was asleep. And then it'll just be a really cool looking graph at the end of the month. And then this is my monthly review. Uh, this is not the one that's the two pager in the shop. This is the one page part of the new year, new you collection monthly review. It's, it matches the January one. Uh, at the top, it's like, this is my weight goal. This is my fitness goal. This is my self-care goal. And then how did I do? You know, rank one to 10, how did I do this month? What are your successes? What did you do well? What were your challenges? What didn't go so well? And then of course, as always with my monthly reviews, the start, stop, and stop, start, and continue. Um, so habits to stop, habits to start, habits that work well and you can continue. In the weight goal section, um, what I like to do is put what my goal was and then what my actual weight w is at the day I'm filling this out and whether I'm up or down. But you can just put in your goals at the beginning of the month. Um, as you can see, I've tabbed this out using the Passion Planner tabs. Um, and I wanted to show you, I used the Passion Planner tab specifically because I wanted to show you, I always, uh, in the videos for tabbing your planner, use the medium ta uh, planner. And the tabs are really made for the medium planner, so it looks great. But I wanted to kind of show you how in a small, as you can see, they overlap a bit if you're using this little gray box as a guide. Or if you use the guide from Passion Planner, uh, there's a link in my bio. Uh, it could take you to the uh, tabbing guide for small, medium, large. If you follow the tabbing guide, it over, all the tabs overlap each other and it's, I don't like it, but I'm, I wanted to kind of show you what that looks like. Now you don't have to use my stickers for your weight loss goals. Um, so February, I set up a week using some, all Chelsea Brown stickers. Um, we have, you know, Friday start across, uh, the sticker for the little, steps, um, which is in thing in the icons, the little icon uh, stickers that she has. The water tracker with the sleep and uh, vitamin tracker or medication tracker here at the top. Mood tracker for the days at the bottom. Uh, my points tracker is over here. Weekly weigh-in, habits for the week, and my gratitude for the week. This I've turned into a shopping list. If I need to, I can divide it in half and have items on both sides. And then I can just put my meeting notes over here. One of the things that'll be the same here as it is with my set is that I'm just going to washi down these or use a sticker kit to uh, cover up the numbers and then make it breakfast, lunch, dinner, pre-plan out my dinners, my lunches, my breakfasts, and then make a shopping list for the week. So that that's how you can do it with Chelsea stickers. Um, this is how you can do it with my stickers. Uh, either way, whatever suits you better, you can do. 
Um, it's totally how you want to do it. This one is not actually in her shop. This was a custom build for me, so you're going to have to like request her to do a custom sticker for you if you want this, just FYI. Um, so then we'll skip ahead to the back pages because otherwise this is just your usual and you can see where I've stickered for some stuff before. So we go to the back pages. Um, I have my mood tracker for the year, which is in my shop. Um, and there's a link to all the stickers I use in the description. This is a printout from the Passion Planner website. Um, it's in here because it was it printed out totally on accident. I had loaded some sticker paper into my printer to do a bunch of stickers. And this accidentally printed out on my laser printer on inkjet paper. So it's a total mess. But anyway, this is, uh, you can get in the Passion Planner shop. And this is a one of their free downloads. And this is my self-care go-to kit. Um, and this is, this base, this, yeah, this section basically is the start of my mental health section here. Um, so mood tracker, self-care go-to kit. Uh, this is my ideas for self-care. Uh, essentially when I need to, you know, take care of myself, when I need to have a rest time, whatever, I will, I can turn to this center page here. Um, this is, uh, I had this in my last fitness one. This is my beware of the cognitive distortions. Um, basically there are 11 different cognitive distortions, things like, uh, catastrophizing, black and white thinking, um, predicting the future. What I will do is list them all out, what they are, how to recognize them and what to do when I'm, you know, in that mode of thinking. Uh, and that I found is very, very helpful for me um, to have. So that way when I'm having, when I'm back here in February, when I'm tracking my mood tracker, um, cognitive distortions are definitely tied to my depression and my mood. So if I notice my mood's low, I can kind of refer to this, make sure I'm not falling into any of those thinking traps. I left this page, this section blank because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it. I wanted a little bit more mental health. Um, also, these are these stickers are from the self care sticker set from Passion Planner. Um, again, there's a link below, and if you use the code Elizabeth10, you get an extra ten percent off. These, um, so this will be not just positive quotes on this side, but this will also be when I get compliments. I'm going to put them here. Um, possibly even glue in like some of the rave reviews from my sticker shop, from my photography business, just so that when I'm feeling down about myself, I can look at this and feel better. Things that make me happy, this will be things like my favorite movies, my cats, things that when I'm feeling down and I need something, um, I can go here. And this is a bit different than self-care because self-care will be like, get a bath. This would be like, you know, things I could surround myself with while I'm in the bath, like my favorite scented candle or something. Um, this is my just start page. Um, today I can just start by, and it's as simple as just listing one thing you can do to get started on your day. Cause sometimes when you have depression or another, uh, mood disorder, it's real hard to get started cause you're in your head. So for example, I can just start by, um, replying to one email or reading one email, evil reading and replying to one email will make that because sometimes you just don't know where to start. So this will be my list of things. I, I just have to do this one thing. That's all I have to do today is this one thing and, and my day is a success. So I can do that. I can start by taking one step and going for a walk. I could take a walk around the block, a walk by my building, that kind of thing. Um, so that's what that page is for. Um, my workout tracker, this will have the different types of workouts and their duration. So like, you know, 30 minute spin class, 60 minute spin class, one hour or 15 minute yoga, 30 minute yoga, etc. Um, and then I can keep track of them. Uh, this sticker is in my shop. This is the custom, uh, year at a glance or, uh, year in pixel sticker, uh, where you can put any text here that you want. So this, that is in my shop. Um, this is very similar to the, I can just start page when I don't want to work out, I can, and it's going to be a list of things I can do that don't, that aren't workout workouts, but that will still count. They'll still get me moving. So things like I can dance around the apartment to a song. I can 
you know, take out the trash. I can clean the apartment, you know, things that when I don't want to go to the gym, I can take a walk around the block three times or something like that. So that's going to be a list of that. So when I'm like, I don't want to exercise today, I will have a list of things I can do instead that'll still get me moving. Um, next section is uh, my cycle tracking section. Uh, this is a period tracker. Um, this will be keyed out with a heavy, medium, light spotting, um, ovulation, uh, all that kind of that kind of thing. So that's what goes here. I feel like that's self-explanatory. I've showed you this on a couple other planner setup videos. Basal body temperature. If you are either trying to get pregnant or trying not to get pregnant but trying to avoid hormones, then you know about tracking your basal body temperature every single morning. Um, so every day I just wake up, whatever day of the week it is, I, you know, first, second, third, etc. I just wake up, take my temperature, fill the temperature in. And what I will do also is using this key, I will also like change the color. If it's like the first day of my period, I'm going to like add a little like red dot or whatever. So I can keep track of the period and ovulation. And I'll know my ovulation because of the temperature spike in here. So I have four pages of that set up. These are my charts. Um, after I, every once in a while, usually at the end of my cycle, I'll go through and I will graph these temperatures onto this chart. Um, and I graph them on top of each other, like a scattered plot chart. So that way I can see, okay, on day, let's say 14, I'm usually, that's my usual ovulation date. And it helps me kind of get a basic idea of how that works, how that looks. Um, better, more so than just looking at it like this. And because that gets a little busy after about six or seven cycles, I broke it into January through June, July through December. Uh, because my cycle is about 23 days, um, I usually have seven cycles per uh, every six months. So, you know, broke it up as much. seven cycles should fit on here. Uh, this is a basic weight loss uh, tracker. Every week after I do my weekly weigh-in, I'll come in here and plot where my weight is on here so I can kind of hopefully see it go down like this, not doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, I Once again, I find visualizing it like that helps me. So that week's down here, weight here. This one doesn't even go all the way down to my goal weight, but I'm trying to set a very realistic 30 pounds this year because, you know, there's going to be some times we set a screw this up. Body measurements. I'm going to draw a little person here. I might even use a picture of myself here. And on one side, it'll be all my measurements as of January 1st. So um, neck, chest, natural waist, waist, hips, thighs, arms, etc. And then on this side, it'll be at the end of the year where I'm at. Uh, similar for clothing size, but the difference is I'm going to plot this out um, every three months. So every quarter I'll do a weigh in or I'll do a clothing size check. Am I still a size 14? Am I now a size 12? You know, where am I clothing size wise? And I could even, if I'm drawing a little person here, then I could even do quarterly measurements, quarterly clothing sizes. That's, that's what they're for and that's why they're together. Um, as I said, I'm doing Weight Watchers or WW as they now call it. And I, I swear, I only know boomers who call it WW before they changed the name. It was a very annoying thing in my meetings or workshops as they call them now. Um, I, I told my friends I did WW and I'm like, who talks like that? And now they've adopted it. Whatever. I blame Oprah. She took it over and then, you know, peak boomer. Anyway, uh, so these are my zero points WW foods. Um, and what I may do is break it down into blue and green. They have color coding now. Um, I'm on green right now, but I'm finding it a little annoying when I, because I stopped, when I stopped Weight Watchers uh, two years ago, um, I was on what they now have as purple and I didn't like it. There was too much freedom, essentially. And I wanted to go back to what, to what I thought, to what they now call green. And now I'm on green. I'm like, oh, I don't like this. There's blue in the middle. I might go back to blue and then have like, Zero points foods for green for blue here, zero points foods for green here, or just do all the blue zero points foods. Not sure, but I'm gonna list those all out. Um, so when I need it, I can go look and go, oh yeah, I, I, I'm out of points today, but I can still have that apple, right? Uh, favorite low points foods. This is gonna be like my absolute favorite foods that are, I'd say under 
three or four points. So, um, for example, on freestyle, a shrimp, a shrimp cocktail was like zero points or like one point for six shrimp or something. So that would definitely go on here. Um, then these are my list out my recipes. There'll be the recipe, the book and the page on here. Um, so actually I'll just write that in here right now. And the book or website and page. So when I'm planning my meals during the week, I can go, oh, okay. Um, I need, I'm gonna run out of points on this date, so I need to have a zero point dinner, something like that. Uh, same thing, three to four points, five to six points, seven to eight points, nine points and up, because you shouldn't be eating that many points in a meal. However, I did leave an extra blank page for nine plus points, because that is absolutely my favorite eating zone, so to speak. Um, favorite dining out foods and their points values. So I can categorize this by the uh, company that I'm eating from, like, okay, Panera, and then my favorite things from there that, and their points values. Or I can just organize it by points values. I haven't decided yet, but this is going to be so that when I go to order food, I know exactly what um, I'm, I'm doing to my uh, points budget and I'm just not ordering what tastes good. I'm not just going to like Popeyes. Oh, I love Popeyes. I freaking love Popeyes and I have beignets now. Mm. And then finally, my last um, section for the planner is symptoms and triggers. Um, as some of you guys may know, I had I got COVID earlier in March of 2020, and I have ha have long haul symptoms since then. Um, long story short, there are these nasal cochlea, which are very similar to your um, ear cochlea, and mine are double the size they're supposed to be and no one knows why, other than it looks like a inflammation rea uh, reaction, um, inflammation t due to an infection, or what my body still thinks is an infection, like an immune overreaction, and they don't know if it's autoimmune disorder or if maybe it's something to do with COVID, who knows, but anyway. So here I can, on days where my symptoms flare up, where my sinus, where I can feel the pain and pressure of those nasal cochlea swollen in my sinuses, I can put the date, and what the symptom was, and then like rate the pain on one to 10. And if you have a chronic condition, this is the kind of thing you can do. And any kind of trigger I may notice like, oh, hey, the weather changed and things got worse. And this isn't just for if you necessarily have uh, chronic symptoms. One of the things I, one of the ways I knew I was getting sick back in March was I'd been tracking, you know, my basal body temperature and my temperature started going higher than it should in that part of the cycle. And so I started trying to pay attention and I noticed I couldn't smell or taste anything. And I thought that was weird. So I noted it and I noted, and I started taking my uh, peak flow meter readings. And just in case it was this weird disease that was out there. And then of course it was, I found out like two weeks later. Um, but I had for my doctor, all these symptoms I had been tracking actually on my iPhone, writing the date down. Um, and that helped get a diagnosis because I couldn't get a test back then. So, because they didn't have tests, they were very rationed. So, um, giving that list of symptoms to my doctor actually, and then her hearing my cough actually helped me get that diagnosis. And then going for a second opinion, same thing, giving that list of symptoms. That per doctor also heard my cough because you couldn't not hear it because I was coughing constantly. Um, helped get that diagnosis. So, I find keeping track of your symptoms and your triggers very important. So, I actually left two pages for symptoms and triggers. So that's how I'm setting up my health and fitness planner for uh, 2021. Ta-da! As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment. And of course, if you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. We go live every Wednesday at 7 a.m. And we have many videos, Mondays or Fridays, every week. So make sure you subscribe to get notified when those hit. And thanks again for watching. I will see you later and stay tuned for the next video.